The Minnesota Twins did not play very well on Saturday, but someone who is playing very well is Trevor Larnick. He had a home run to tie the game in the second inning here. He's hitting 289 with a 365 OBP and a 470 slugging. That's an 835 OPS in the suppressed run scoring environment. Very nice to see out of him. This was a very unfortunate play here. You see the Royals up 3-1. to one. There's two outs in the fourth inning, and Jorge Polanco has many ways to get this out. He can just flip it to second. He can tag the guy, but he throws it to first and bounces it to a rise. And, of course, the inning extends, and you know it's not just going to go quietly. No, nope. a two-run hit. The Royals tack onto their lead, and that's just kind of the day, kind of day it was for the Twins, unfortunately. Ryan Jeffers was in there because Gary Sanchez left the game due to a heat-related illness, and he got a two-run single, so that was great. Max Kepler also exited today's game uh, due to an injury, uh, so concerning to see that. The Twins did battle back a bit, and you see Kyle Garlick nearly hits a game-tying grand slam in the bottom of the ninth, but the Twins lose this one. We're going to take a look. I'm going to show these rundowns, and then we're going to do game-by-game game in the minor leagues. Uh, so sort of like a blend of the kind of two formats that I've been playing around with. Um, but if, if this is going to go through too quick and you need to, to pause it either now, or we will show these at the end as well. So if you miss stuff on here, as you can see by the bottom, a lot of home runs hit across the system today. Uh, Spencer Steer, Aaron Sabato, and Emmanuel Rodriguez. We will be showing highlights of them and Matt Walner uh, going team by team again, kicking it off with the St. Paul Saints. And, you know, this is the Royce Lewis show is what it is. He is in left field. He gets his first outfield assist of the season. He's going to have to get used to this because teams are going to be aggressive when he's playing in these positions he's not very familiar with. Uh, teams are going to try some stuff, and he's got to make them pay for it. And he definitely did here. A beautiful play by him. Uh, at the plate here, Royce, he gets an opposite field single, which I think is really encouraging. He's more of a dead pull hitter naturally, I think. So for him to be doing stuff like that uh, is wonderful to see. And then he steals second base. He's now 13 for 15 on stolen base attempts with the Saints this year. Uh, and Alex Kirilov drives him in with a base hit to center. So I, I'm not sure that it will be too long before both of these guys are on the Twins. Uh, but great to see them producing for the Saints. Spencer Steer hit his second home run already in his time with the Saints. He started at second base tonight. Uh, has been playing a lot of third as well this year. He's also mixed in at shortstop. Uh, I doubt we'll see that by the time he reaches the major leagues. But um, either way, great to see him producing in AAA. You know, I think this was his sixth game, and he's really looked very comfortable already. Again, that was Spencer Steer who was drafted out of Oregon by the Twins a few years back. Take a look at that swing. He kind of reminds me a bit of Brian Dozier and that he hunts balls that he can pull. Ronnie Henriquez, that's a 97 miles per hour fastball. And then you'll see a slider here. His overall line didn't look good, as you might have seen from the rundown, but he struck out six batters in a row at one point in this game. Uh, so he's just got to find some consistency. A guy with good stuff, bad numbers right now. Got to find that consistency again. Wichita, this game was a mess. This game was a mess. Here, Leo Baldo Cabrera is hitting a grand slam. Uh, into this play area. This looks like the funnest stadium for kids, by the way, at Corpus Christi. And then Matt Walner crushes one. They got a water park out there. Like, what? What is the situation with this stadium? Uh, but this game was 13 to 12 by the time I was recording this. Still going on in progress. Just crazy. Uh, but Matt Walner, that was his 10th home run, tying him with Spencer Steer for most in the system. He has a 1.015 OPS in May coming into today. And now has homered in three of his last four days. Uh, really, really hot. Uh, I kind of mentioned how the 2020 draft wasn't looking so great last night, and I think the guys might have heard me because Aaron Sabato, the first-round pick of that draft, went deep into the deepest part of uh, the park in Cedar Rapids, basically. That's a that's a blast for him to the opposite field. And then Alaric Solari, the second-round pick of that year's draft, crushes, just jumps all over this one. Goes way deep into the residential area. Ladies out there just, you know, trying to take care of take care of a car out there or something. They're looking for a cat, maybe. I don't know what's going on out there. But Alaric Solari just disrupted her whole business with that home run that he crushed. And then we'll take a look at some of David Festa. Uh, he did not start this game. Once again, he came out of the bullpen in relief of Brent Hedrick. But he threw four innings of two-hit ball with one run, one walk, and three strikeouts. And David Fest, you know, he's such a recent draftee, a 13th round pick from last year and pitching so well. Uh, this is a 97 mile per hour fastball from him, by the way. 
Uh, I want to make sure to show him. 1.65 ERA now in 32 and two-thirds innings pitched overall between his time in Cedar Rapids and Fort Myers. Uh, really a massive pop-up prospect from this most recent draft, a 13th rounder. Moving on down to Fort Myers, Emmanuel Rodriguez. Man, this guy is looking like something special. He hits this 94-mile-per-hour fastball out of the stadium. Apologies for the highlights being a little choppy on here. They're, they're having some broadcast trouble, I think. But you know, obviously incredibly grateful that this Bradenton broadcast is available anyway. Uh, but again, that was Emmanuel Rodriguez. Here's Jalen Nolan, a 19th round pick from this past year. He had a big game today. Nine strikeouts in four innings pitched. And I want to kind of take an opportunity to give you a look at how they're doing replays for the automated balls and strike calls. Check this out. In the Florida State League, they're doing this. The batter taps his helmet, indicating that he wants a replay for the automated system. The umpire calls to the booth, confirms that it was a strike. That's like a five-second process. How efficient is that? Just amazing. I want to thank new super supporters. Guys who gave me some super thanks last night. Braden, Scott, and Travis, thank you so much for your support. Um, if you see that thanks button underneath the video where the likes and the dislikes are, uh, you can donate to the channel. Here's the, a preview of that screen that'll pop up. That's a one-time donation. It's not reoccurring or anything. Um, so just a one-time thing if you want to support the channel i'd appreciate it but if you've made it this far into the channel you're you're definitely uh helping out into the video excuse me you're definitely helping out uh the watch time really helps these reach some more people and some more twins fans for sure so again like i promised earlier just gonna show the notable uh starters and pit hitting performances uh thanks for checking this out we'll talk again tomorrow